Hey Magic One, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're having a great week so far. Very soon I will be posting the 2022 yearly overview readings for each zodiac sign. I know I've been saying that for a couple of weeks, but I've had such a crazy start to the year. It's been really busy and it really does take so much time to do this. So I hope that you, you hang in with me there and I'll get them to you very soon. If you wanted to get your own personalized tarot wheel that will show you the available energies for you for each month of the year that you can align your inspired action to. I am running a special on that reading through my website. You can use the code YOUR22 to get 22% off that at the moment. Uh, you'll find the link to my website down there and also to the other types of uh, personal readings and healings that I do offer. Uh, you can also join the initiation at any time. That's my immersive blue tarot journey. If you're thinking about learning to read the cards for yourself, maybe your family, your friends, you can get immediate access to all of the online learning modules and videos and bits and pieces uh, when you sign up and you get lifetime access so you can take as long as you want to get it done as well. So that is about it from me. I just wanted to pop in and say hi and wish you a week of love and magic. Let's head across to your, to your tarot reading now. Cancer, this is your tarot reading for January 24th through to the 30th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, three cards, recent past, three current or focused energy, three near future outcome, bottom of the deck, two oracles and some lead tarot energies for you. So Cancer, I'm going to jump in here and we'll see how this unfolds. The first card out was Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. My first question for you, Cancer, when I pulled this card, I was thinking, how did you go around the Cancer full moon around 17th of January? Uh, I really feel that you may be gearing up or getting uh, emotionally prepared for some kind of huge release, some kind of really big transition here. And it's interesting, I've just noticed that we have these people going past the full moon here as well, finally being able to be released of the energetic cords that are earthing or grounding them to a situation. So, you know, you could be finally emotionally processing something that you've journeyed um, in the past, a breakup, loss of a job, passing of a family member, um, or maybe, you know, there is something that you are needing to sever ties with that you haven't quite been able to do. Um, the energy is changing, Cancer, and it is time for you to do that. Look at the, the similarity between these two cards. We have Pallades and we have more people that are ascending, that are rising. I feel like your energy is ready or has been ascending. Higher vibrational energy, awakening, awakening to more truth. And when we actually do awaken in areas of our lives, you know, it's inevitable that other areas of our lives will will change, okay? Because we can realize that, you know, people or situations aren't in alignment anymore. And it's it's with love that we that we move away and we free ourselves from it. Pallades is one of the star seed cards, and really this is coming out all the time at the moment. And for me, that's a card of awakening, um, a card of ascension, holding more light. And some of you might be actually having awakenings to being a star seed, and that you are here to participate in this big shift that is going on. I mean, I believe that everyone who was incarnated at this time, Cancer, is part of that, but us that are here doing this work and watching these kind of readings may be a little bit more tuned into it. So you are moving ahead, ascending your energy in some way. And it's interesting that we have you showing up in your own reading here, Cancer, as a lead energy. Queen of Cups is your minor arcana. So again, this just says that you are moving like into your truth, into your center, maybe emotionally regrounding yourself, learning to live from heart. It's a beautiful energy of you coming into your own power here, really coming into your own this year. Four of Cups is the other lead tarot energy. And interestingly, this is an energy of awakening to the areas of your life that maybe have made you disconnect emotionally. So what I'm feeling is that you are 
plugging back into the emotional network again, maybe after being disconnected for a period of time. When something's not in alignment, like we outgrow our relationship or we begin not loving our job, whatever area it is for you, often a coping strategy is to, to numb ourselves, to disconnect emotionally, just to go through the motions. You may have been doing that in an area of your life, but the cards are saying, wake up cancer, it's time for you to address that. That's no way to be if you are feeling bored or apathetic or um, you know, complacent. It is time for you to get that sense of passion back, to get that sense of growth back. So that's what I'm feeling here. It's like, don't forget that bigger dream that you have for your life. So let's jump into the tarot here. Cancer, I have got in the recent past strength, that is Leo energy, Queen of Swords, that is Libra energy, and the Five of Wands. So that Five of Wands for me really stands for that inner conflict. That situation that you've been engaged with that has been more of an energetic drainer than replenisher. And you know in my readings, guys, I generally don't call it either way what the situation is. I read the pattern of energy and you apply it to your life. For some of you, it's in your relationships. For some of you, it's in your life purpose. It could be with place. It could be dealing with family members. The Five of Wands is this energy of, you know, unproductive energy, um, feeling off path. You know, really just needing to, to, to shift things. It can be an energy of burnout, of struggle. Queen of Swords here with this Libra energy is that you have recognized that pattern within yourself. Sometimes we slowly, slowly check out bit by bit and we actually don't really realize that we are, you know, you're putting those coping strategies in place. I feel like the Queen of Swords is that awakening energy where you've seen it for what it is. And of course, once you know better, you need to do better. And now you are on a mission to use that Ace of Swords, that clarity, that insight, and that sort of victory to cut the ties and sever ties for what is not working with you. But you will need a fair dose of strength and courage here. Because, you know, when we're about to go through change, the first thing that happens is the ego rears up and, and wants to keep us where we are because of fear of the unknown, because, you know, it's, it's easier to stay where we are and just numb out than take action and move into, you know, a completely unknown new future. So that's why we see the angel soothing the lion here, because it's about bringing that part of yourself, the ego, under under control, soothing it, so you can follow the wisdom of the higher self, that awakening, ascension energy. And the Queen of Swords, you know, she stands for truth. You are moving towards your truth and transforming your life because of that. So current or focus energy, Cancer, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands at the center, Five of Cups. So Three of Wands at the center of this reading is really about turning your back on the past or on this situation and getting ready to move into the energy of the Empress. That's the number three energy. It's time for you to reconnect that heart energy and begin creating, birthing, you know, whatever it is that it is your heart des heart's desires. It's time to get your passion back. It's time to rediscover your purpose and take the bold steps and action that you need in order to get there. You've got the two fives, you've got the five of wands and the five of cups. And, you know, five of cups is an energy of, of mourning the loss, um, grieving, feeling disappointed, because maybe we were invested in that situation at some point, but it hasn't played out ha had how you had wanted to. And you're now finding yourself in a position where it's either stay and, and keep checking out within that situation or step up, sever ties and step into the unknown. And we see the two cups down here because spirit is saying, yeah, yes, you may have disappointment here, sadness, sorrow, grief, guilt, whatever it is for you. But through this new journey, there will be new opportunities, new relationships, new partnerships, new emotional satisfaction, new happiness. The Page of Pentacles also is about new opportunities, very much in its infancy, but it's saying that, you know, as soon as you turn your back on that situation, there'll be new seeds to plant. 
new people will come forward in your life, new opportunities, new offers, because that's just the way energy works. When we clear the slate, when we cut ties, we create space. We create space for new energy to come in for us. So there will be new things coming your way. Um, and I feel with the Three of Wands, you know, Three of Wands is about feeling, uh, you know, the, the starting of success, you know, feeling your ship starting to come in. They haven't arrived yet, but as soon as you start dealing with the situation, it's like you still, you already start feeling that sense of achievement piece by piece that will fall into place. So down here in the outcome, I have the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Rods. Aries energy, the six of cups, and let's not forget that the emperor was at the bottom of the deck. So here you have the strong Aries energy come through. And if we look at this, you know, the wands energy, one, two, three, four cards of wands, plus the emperor is fire energy, Leo energy, fire energy. It's all about taking action. Okay, we've done enough thinking, enough mulling over, enough numbing out. It is now time for action, is what the cards are saying. The Nine of Wands is a, an energy of struggle and saying that you've been in the struggle for long enough. The Nine of Wands is also an energy of you are so close to transforming your situation. Potentially just one wand, one action, one step away from making this the Ten of Wands, which is releasing a weight or a burden that you've carried for for some time here, Cancer. So it, really it's saying if you if you know there's an action that you haven't taken, this is the week to, to do that, to, to be bold, to be the emperor, to step up and lead from that place. You may be dealing with an Aries person here as well. So as the emperor, it's a really about getting into control of your life, okay? If we were checking out and being apathetic, it is time to, it's like, be shaking someone, wake up, right? It's time to take action. It's time to get out there. You are seeing the strategic moves that you need to make and you are taking the action. The Queen of Wands is this energy of determination and strength to move towards what lights you up, passions, purpose, desires, and all of that good stuff. The Six of Cups is about growth again, okay? Receiving joy again receiving happiness again and a real return to innocence energy okay it's like we're we're taking away this big kind of block or something that's kind of um you know become a, a sense of conditioning and well, you're returning back to your truth and back to yourself here cancer let's get one more We have got the tower. Yeah, I feel like there is a tower to come down here, guys. I'll have to say it. Um, generally, generally with the tower, you know, we have the option to, to dismantle it ourselves. But often if we don't follow the signs, the universe can, can intervene and create a circumstance that shifts us when we won't shift ourselves. But the tower can also be the, the awakening, the epiphany. Um, you know, out, it's like you've, you're coming out of this numbness, out of this blindness, and then all of a sudden you see, and you need to take action. You need to pull down that tower that is in the way. Is it a relationship? Is it a job? Is it a place? It's something to be addressed here. But the tower holds this great promise because whatever it is that you are removing from your life, Cancer, is not a match for you anymore. You've outgrown it. Um, it's not in alignment, it's on a shaky foundation, it's inevitable, it's going to fall. So by removing this, you can lay a new foundation on, in which to plant new seeds. And whatever you grow, the empire you build as the emperor will be one of your preference in alignment with your truth. And you can really have this opportunity to transform your life. So I, I like to see the tower there. I think it is a, a positive, positive omen. Okay, well, Cancer, I am going to leave it there, and I hope you enjoyed this channel tarot message. Keeping in mind, it is a general reading for the collective. It may or may not resonate for you. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all and try and interact with you all over there. 
Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already guys, that notifies you when I post new videos, it helps support the channel and is a great uh, energy exchange between us, as is when you like, share and comment on the videos. I am wishing you an amazing week ahead Cancer, do take care, bye for now.